And what James Campbell is, is it's through the US Fish and Game. They have like this tract of land called the James Campbell Refuge and then the Pacific Rim Conservation, which is the group I was working for. They're translocating chicks from other islands, basically Kauai and the kind of northern atolls of the Hawaiian Islands. And they're transferring them and translocating them to James Campbell. The main goal was the US Army, when they, during World War II, went through atoll to atoll, clearing everything and building landing strips because it was wartime. Um, and that displaced a lot of albatross chicks because, as you can imagine, you also don't want 11 foot birds flying where planes are landing because that's hazardous for humans. And so, well, let's try to create a new colony somewhere else. So we're translocating birds from Kauai, where there's an active uh, military base still that has planes that have black albatross nearby. And they take these chicks when they're in a very developmental part of their chick hood and move it to James Campbell, where they hopefully will think of that as their home and come back to it in the following years. The petrels are from the atolls, and with sea level rises, we find birds that are at risk of having flooded burrows because these birds burrow to, to lay their eggs. So we're also trying to establish a colony of them here. The, the fence, I think, was originated in uh, New Zealand as a predator-proof fence, um, but at the same time it also allows birds to fly away. The A-frames are for the albatross because they are not accustomed to warm Hawaiian sunlight and they get really winded and heated so they needed a place to have some shade. So the A-frames, which are kind of iconic at the James Campbell, are just shade for the albatross. I, I'm <laughs> the volunteer that goes the most, so they call me the unofficial intern. Um, I go three times a week from eight to two and I prep the food. Some days I'll be food monger, I call it, and just controlling what the chicks get, and then other days I'll be handling uh, mostly petrels. I'll be able to hold them and then kind of see their whole physical well-being. There's a lot of volunteer opportunities out there. For James Campbell, we're always looking for volunteers to help out. Um, it makes the days go by smoother, faster, easier. It's easy to reach out to them if students are looking for an opportunity to volunteer. They have it on their websites. I think this is an awesome opportunity given that it's such a pioneer in translocation. James Campbell is, for the next few years at least, going to keep doing this and they're getting pioneer information. We, don't, we didn't know anything about birds like bone-in petrels or really anything about black-footed albatross before James Campbell started to record all its data. And so to be a part of that as a student, not only would look good on resumes, but it's a very unique opportunity to be invested in. I've worked with fish my whole life and dogs, and so working with birds is a new challenge, but it's a fun one.